Um, before the news begins, I have to warn you that my mouth is running low on battery power. Um, my mouth might stop working, but my voice will still be heard. British comedian, actor, and social commentator Russell Brand is facing a crisis in his career as multiple women have come forward with allegations of sexual assault. The revelations have led to a domino effect of consequences, including the loss of monetization privileges on his YouTube channel and the termination of several brand partnerships. Russell Brand's YouTube channel, which has garnered millions of subscribers, has been a major source of income for the celebrity. However, in light of the allegations, YouTube has decided to suspend monetization on his channel, effectively halting ad revenue. This move is in line with YouTube's policies and commitment to maintaining a safe and respectful environment for its users. The alternative social media platform Rumble has publicly rejected a request from the UK government to remove Russell Brand from its platform. Rumble's response emphasizes adherence to the American legal system's principle of innocent until proven guilty and maintains that it will continue to allow advertisements on Russell Brand's content. By now, you're probably aware that the British government have asked big tech platforms to censor our online content and that some online platforms have complied with that request. What you may not know is that this happens in the context of the Online Safety Bill, which is a piece of UK legislation that grants sweeping surveillance and censorship powers. And it's a law that has already been passed. I also don't imagine you've heard of the Trusted News Initiative. Now, as is often the case when a word like trusted is used as part of an acronym to describe an unelected body, trust is the last thing you should be offering. The Trusted News Initiative is a collaboration between big tech and legacy media organizations to target, control, choke and shut down independent media organizations like this one. In a statement released in response to the UK government's request, Rumble defended its decision not to remove Russell Brand from its platform. The statement stressed that Rumble and its advertisers are separate entities from the content creators on the platform and are not responsible for the actions or allegations against individual users. Despite Rumble's stance, several major advertisers have chosen to distance themselves from the platform. Burger King, ASOS, and HelloFresh are among the notable companies that have decided to pull their advertisements from Rumble. These companies cited concerns about their brands being associated with controversial content and the potential impact on their public image. Conspiracy theories are emerging whether or not Russell Brand is being silenced because of his big pharma stance or if he is being silenced because of his anti-war stance. One thing is clear, YouTube is stripping all advertisements on videos that mention the Ukraine war and to be safe, I go back and erase what I just said. I didn't mention anything about Ukraine. Erased, thrown in trash. Scott Adams claims that free speech is gone in America. He stated that the only ones who truly have free speech in America are the super wealthy and the young men who have nothing to lose. In other words, the middle class men have been neutered in America, unable or unwilling to tell the truth and allowing unhinged men to take over society. There's a generation of males coming who won't put up with the bullshit. Now, I didn't really define what the bullshit is, but everybody knows. <laughs> I didn't have to define it, but everybody knows. And um, the reason there are two million views on this, and so many likes and retweets, is that it's observably true. Young men are not falling for the brainwashing. Yeah. The rest of society uh, either has to fall for the brainwashing, or they have to pretend they fell for it so they don't get canceled. If you are an adult male, you are completely neutered by the system. Because the system, as I described earlier on, has created a whole bunch of organizations and domains that are staffed by people who are primarily political, but they're going to pretend that they're fighting for justice and equity. But really, it's a political point of view. And so they can cancel any adult male who calls bullshit on bullshit. So the system will punish all adult males. So that takes out of the conversation any adult male who wants a job. Right? right? Like people like uh, uh, Dave Portnoy, luckily he already has his money. So what you're finding is that the only people who have free speech are people who already made enough money that they can take the hit. 
What do these people have in common? Let me read those names again. Tucker Carlson, uh, Russell Brand, Dave Portnoy, uh, Elon Musk, Donald Trump, and me, and Roseanne. What do we all have in common? We all had enough money so that we could survive having free speech. And boy, did they come for us. <laughs> they came for us hard. It costs a lot of money. Right? It's very expensive. The average person cannot, cannot afford free speech. Not even close. And it's pretty expensive for me. I mean, you know, they, they come at you pretty hard. So, what, what could save us? The only thing that could save us is young men who do not already have something to lose. Young men who don't go to college are the only way we get out of this. Because the men are going to have to call bullshit on it because they can see it's bullshit. It's bad for them, it's bad for the world, it's bad for the country. And they're going to. What is truly perplexing is that Katy Perry's ex-husband, Russell Brand, now has more credibility than CNN. We are living in bizarre times where the host of Fear Factor has a larger audience than CNN and the host of the reality TV show, The Apprentice, became America's 45th president of the United States and was overthrown by a deep state of unelected government officials. That does it for today's newscast, where remember, I'm the fake one, you all are the real ones. My broken mouth will be fixed next month when my subscription renews. Sorry for the uncanny valley.